Go ahead, Bobby. Well, Peter, we have talked several times, but I remember the first time we talked was for Breaking Away. That's right. That's and right. Uh, it seems we're coming full circle now because uh, you did that picture with Dennis Quaid, and mm -hmm. now here you are back with Dennis Quaid and Suspect. So I guess maybe uh, a good place to start would be uh, to kind of make a comparison between then and now. Dennis was how old in Breaking Away? About... Um. Well, I'm always very generous to Dennis, so I'll say he was probably about 23. I think it's, must be, I think it's probably about right. I mean, that's what, about seven years ago. The picture came out in 79, as yeah, I recall. I think it was. Yes. Uh, and of course, you know, people change, and particularly at that time in, in life. Uh, as, what do you see in him now as an actor that you did not see in Breaking Away? Well, I always had an enormous hopes for, for Dennis uh, at that time. I mean, I felt that he had. Uh, an extraordinary sort of raw energy about him, which was which was very interesting and especially interesting on film. I think there was two scenes, especially in Breaking Away, where I thought he was quite outstanding, and I'm surprised, quite frankly, that he hasn't been a big star for a very long time. Um, I do think he has matured. I do think he's he understands himself much better, and I think therefore is able to project his characters. Um, he has more control over what he's doing, but he still has managed to retain that uh, original energy and that original vitality, um, which was so attractive before. So often as people learn more, uh, they become cynical and therefore the charm goes. Um, I think luckily Dennis doesn't take himself that seriously, uh, and so he still has, he still has the charm. Cher, of course, I think with many people still has the image of Sonny and Cher, and, mm. uh, but I think more recently people are acknowledging her as an actress and a very good actress. Uh, how would you assess her ability as an actress? I think that she is the ideal uh, film actress in that um, she's had enormous experience in f of working in front of audiences, so therefore she has no fear of actually working, or may she may have fear, we all have fear, <laughs> um, but she has, she has a, a knowledge in it, uh, of how to work in front of an audience, which for film is very important, because you're not working in front of an audience. That may sound very strange, but it makes sense to me, <laughs> uh, in that if you're playing a part, you have to remember how it is going to come over when it is flashed up there on the screen and how an audience is going to react and what they're going to react to. Um, and I think that she's able to bring a lot of, it, of the experience of her life uh, to the, ways that she, the, the way that she plays characters, the way that she makes choices. Um, I think also that her musical background is inclined to give her a great sense of rhythm and variation in her voice. Um, I just find her entirely original um, to work with, and I think this is what makes you know really great film actors and actresses is that 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 piece of originality that lets you identify with reality. Where does she need the most help, Peter? Um, I don't know. I mean, I I think that where I think she needs the, the most help is, is where, where all actors and actresses need the most help, and that, is, uh, and that is to create an atmosphere in which she can work. Um, you know, one isn't giving sort of acting lessons or anything, one is really trying. I mean, I, I suppose my knowledge, because I was, uh, you know, I have had a, a long background of working not only as a director but as an assistant director, I think I'm able to control a flaw so that it's not being oppressive to an actor or actress, because I think so often um, the pure technical way that a film floor works can stifle uh, the, the, uh, the energy and the, uh, the originality of, of an actor or an actress. And so I, I hope that because of my knowledge in that, one can control it before it gets to them and allows them to relax and do what they should be doing, which is acting. One of the films you directed that I dearly love is The Dresser. I just love that film. And um, one of the things that, uh, when I see that time and time again, that I marvel at is Albert Finney, how he can do something, you know, just so 
uh, blown, uh, I don't want to mm. say overblown, because mm. the whole point of the question is that somehow that man always knows where to slam on the brakes, doesn't mm -hmm. he? Mm -hmm. it, or or does incredible. that come from the director? No, no, it's, it's, uh, Albert has an enormous uh, intuitive feeling about, and he's a, very, he's a very knowledgeable film actor really as well. Uh, I mean, yes, we, one does say, you know, do a bit more, do a bit less. Uh, um, and I think that's the best way one can, can serve an actor like Albert, which is to, to, to act as, a, as a, a sounding board so that he has got somebody to play against and, and so that he dares, because otherwise, you know, he wouldn't dare go quite as far uh, because he, he needs to know there's someone who's going to say, Albert, you're overdoing it a bit there. Um, you know, or come on, it's 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 down. You can afford to be up a little bit. Um, I mean, these are all things which are very important part of directing. If you have two actors, Peter, who are pretty equal for a mm -hmm. part, I mean, physically and and so forth and so on, one is stage trained, and one is not has no stage background. Mm -hmm. We're talking about a film role. Which one would you be most apt to go with? Uh, I would always ideally work with somebody who's worked in the theater because it also says something I think about why he's become an actor. If you really have to want to act, you really have to want to create characters uh, if you work in the theater because you know you're not going to get any money. Uh, I think that I, I'm always rather suspicious of somebody who just purely becomes a film actor and doesn't and isn't in any way interested in, in working in the theatre itself. Because the opportunities are there. Uh, everyone can do it, but it does mean a sacrifice. Is there any difference, in other words, when someone's reading for you, mm -hmm. and you don't know that much about the background, is there anything that tips you off that one is stage trained and the other one is not? Well, you so seldom get people who are not train now. Um, you know, it has got so difficult. I think that the days of people being found in, in, in Schwab's and the, and, and the gas station are, are really, really have gone, unfortunately, although people still, I think, keep flocking out here and trying to work in gas stations. Um, but uh, I think that, that uh, to, acting has become really so difficult uh, and demanding that there has to be a certain technique because they've got to, especially if they're working for television where they have to get out, do it and get off uh, and not hold everyone up or they're not going to work again. Um, so I think that on the whole, everyone has had some kind of training, even if it's only from a little old lady in Pasadena. You know. <laughs> she does get around, doesn't she? She does. <laughs> <laughs> well, Peter, it's been nice having this it's chance to nice talk with to you. Talk and let me you. tell you how much I enjoyed Suspect. Thank and you. I hope it does well because it is a most entertaining and suspenseful picture. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pause. Let me figure out my frame here. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. Speed up. Okay. How has Dennis Quaid changed from when he did Breaking Away in 79 till now? How would you assess Cher as an actress? Where is Cher most apt to need help? When you were directing Albert Finney in The Dresser, which is one of my favorite films of all time, when you were directing Finney, how, how does he know when to slam on the brakes? Would you rather have an actor who has stage training or one who doesn't? What do you find is the difference between an actor who is stage trained and one who isn't? If you have two actors who are equal for a role, physically and otherwise, 
Which one are you most apt to choose? Oh, you're out of tape. Okay. Uh, Can I just give a a, a silent reaction to take it to the end? Okay. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Thank you.